Hey up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all staying inside and looking after yourself while the whole world goes mad with this coronavirus. Today's video is going to be my greatest ever St George Dragons team from 1921 to 1998. I'm not going to include St George Illawarra or any of their players in this list. Even though I consider St George and St George Illawarra to be the same club. I am just going to focus on St George from 1921 to 1998. Now for all of you that are new to Rugby League, new to the channel or don't really know much about St George, I'll just give you a brief overview of the club. They were founded in 1921 and they won 15 premierships in their history as St George and if you count St George Illawarra as St George they won 16. They were runners up 12 times. They have produced some of the, the greatest players to ever have played the game. There's a few immortals in there. And at the time of the joint venture with Illawarra, they were the second most successful club in rugby league history in Australia, just behind South Sydney. So without further ado, we're going to get into the team now. I'm just going to get my list. And we're going to go through the... Uh, team 1 2 to 17 starting with the full back and we're going to include the coach as well so at full back I've gone for Graham Langlands or as his nickname was known as Changa so Graham Langlands played during the glory era of the 1960s where the club won a world record 11 premierships in a row he was part of four of those premierships he played 234 matches he has the highest ever point scored at the club with over 1500 points after most of the stars of the St George team in the 60s retired Green Langlands continued to play for the club and he played in a few other losing grand finals like the 1971 grand final he also played in the 1975 grand final with the famous white boots he represented Australia over 40 times he represented New South Wales over 30 times and he was made a rugby league immortal in 1999 so uh, Graham Langland gets me spot at fullback on the wings I've chosen Johnny King and Eddie Lumsden Johnny King played 191 games for St George during that never before never again era he scored 143 tries and he won seven premierships and Eddie Lumsden, he played in the same era. He won nine premierships, played 158 matches and scored 136 tries. So they're my two wingers. In the centres, I've gone for Reg Gaznier and Mark Coyne. Uh, Reg Gaznier was a St George junior. He was born in Mark Deal. He played 125 games for the club, scored 127 tries. He won six premierships with St George in that never before never again era his nickname was Puff the Magic Dragon he was dead quick I've seen some highlights of him an amazing player and he was made a rugby league immortal in 1981 and Mark Coyne he played for the club in the 1980s and 1990s when the club got close to winning another premiership but they run into the likes of Brisbane and Manly he played 207 first grade games for the club in the 80s and 90s and he also played one final season with St George Illawarra. So he gets me spot at centre with Puff the Magic Dragon, Reg Gaznier. At 5'8", I've gone for Brian Clay or as he was known by his nickname, Poppy. So Brian Clay, he played 183 games for the club and won 8 premierships. His nickname was Popper because he lost his hair when he was very young and I've seen some photos of him when he was in his 20s and 30s and he looked about 60 so he gets me spot for 5 8 At halfback I've chosen Billy Smith. Billy Smith played 234 matches for St George and won 4 premierships. Like uh, Graham Langlands he stuck with the club after most of the other players had retired and he played in those losing grand finals in the 1970s. He finished as one of the highest ever capped players for St George. 
and he was a fantastic halfback, so he gets me spot. The props, I've chosen Billy Wilson and Harry Bath. So Billy Wilson, he's in me, North Sydney's greatest ever team. So go check that out if you've got some spare time after watching this video. Uh, Billy Wilson, his nickname was Captain Blood. He played for the club in the 1950s and 1960s where he won six premierships. And Harry Bath, he was in me greatest ever Bell Mean team of all time as well. So go ch check out that video. Uh, Harry Bath played for Bell Mean initially. Went to England, was over there for about 10 years with Warrington. And then he come back over and signed with with, with uh, St George, where he won a fair there. Three premierships. He played over 60 matches for the club. Here's an interesting fact for you. Harry Bath is the only player in rugby league history in Australia <clears throat> to win a premiership in every single year that he played the game. So he only played five years in Australia and he won a premiership in each of those years. After he retired, he ended up becoming a very successful coach. He coached Belmeen and he coached St George for two premierships in the 1970s. So he gets me spot at prop. At hooker, I've gone for Ken Carney. Ken Carney won six premierships as a player, five as captain coach. He's a no-brainer for me hooker position. And the second rowers, I've chosen Norm Proven and Elton Rasmussen. So Norm Proven, his nickname was Styx. He played a, a record 256 face grade games for St George and he won 10 premierships. And that's the most premierships that any player's ever won with any club ever. So he holds that record as well. He was captain for most of those premierships. He represented Australia, New South Wales, and just last year he was finally made an immortal. After all those years of waiting, he finally got to be an immortal. So um, I was really happy when, when that came about. And Elton Rasmussen, he played 126 games for the club, and he won five premierships during that never before, never again time period. Um, he tragically died pretty young, uh, but by all accounts, he was a fantastic second rover and he gets me spot. And at lock, I've gone for Johnny Reaper. His nickname was Chuck. Johnny Reaper come to the club from uh, Newtown, where he had a bit of success there in the late 50s. He signed with St George and he went on to play 185 matches and he won eight premierships. Um, he's one of the greatest locks to have ever played the game and he was made in the mortal in 1981. So he's my spot for lock. And now we come to the bench players. So my first bench spot goes to Rod Reddy. Or as his nickname was known, Rocket. So Rod Reddy played for St George in the 1970s where he won two premierships, 1977-1979. He gets me first bench spot. Second bench spot goes to Len Kelly. Len Kelly played 160 games for the club in the 1930s and 1940s. He played in St George's inaugural Premiership win in 1941 when they defeated Eastern Suburbs. He was one of the longest serving players at the time before the 1960s and 1970s rolled around. So he gets me second bench spot. My third bench spot goes to Ian Walsh. He played 100 and... No, oh, he, sorry. He played 94 games for the club in that never before, never again era. He was the hooker after Ken Carney retired. So he gets me spot for the third bench spot. And my last bench spot go, goes to George Carsters, or as he was known by his nickname, Bluey. So George Carsters played 81 first grade games and he played in the club's first ever match in 1921 against Glebe. Uh, George Carsters was one of the club's first stars, you could see. He represented Australia and New South Wales and a few other representative teams. And he played in a number of positions in, the, in the, the back line. So he gets me spot for the bench. And that's it. That's me team. That's me St George, greatest ever team from 1921 to 1998. 
a lot of the decisions were easy to make, some were hard, but that's my team. And now we go on to the coach. I could have picked a few players or coaches for this for this particular role. I could have gone with Brian Smith, could have gone with Roy Masters, could have gone with Harry Bath. But I've decided to go with Ken Carney. Uh, Ken Carney took over after the first Premiership victory on that 11 Street Premiership victories run. He was captain coach for five of those and he gets me spot for coach. I could have gone for a non-playing coach but I decided to go for Ken Carney. So that's my team. I hope you enjoyed it. If you agree with me, disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. If you like in the comment that I'm putting out, then make sure that you give the, the videos a like. And if you really like them, share them. Um, also make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're really enjoying the content by clicking that notification bell so you get an email every time I do a new video. And if you have a spare moment, go over to Rugby League History. That's my Facebook page. Um, I'll give you a link so you can find that in the description below. But as, as always, take care of yourself everyone. I'll catch us all later and ta -ra.